Hey guys, welcome back to 212 Kids. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this month as we have to figure out all of these puzzles. Man, we have a lot of challenges ahead. And the first challenge that we have today is to do this puzzle behind me to figure out what this month's life app is. I call it Puzzle Fest. And I need you guys to do something for me. I need you to stand up and cheer for me because I got to put this together to figure out what we're talking about. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, I think this one right there. And then, are you guys cheering? I can't hear you. I need you to cheer louder. Okay, come on. Keep cheering. Keep cheering for me. Oh my gosh, I can't even figure this out. Ah! Okay, okay, here we go. All right, okay, I got it. Okay, something like that. Okay, the next one. Are you guys cheering? I can't hear you guys. I need you to be cheering louder. Okay, we're almost there. I think this one goes here. We're halfway done. Okay, help me. Here we go. This one right here and this one. Okay, I think it's like that. And then this one right here. Keep, come on guys. I need to hear it. I'm losing steam. Okay, almost done. Here we go. Last one here. Let's see what it is. Okay, I think this one goes here. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Yes, I got it. It spells hope. We did it. Oh my gosh. That's our life app for this month. It's hope. And hope, guys, is this. It's believing something good can come from something bad. Amazing. We got all four letters. It spells hope. Nice job cheering me on. Man, I couldn't have done it without you. So, listen. It's pretty cool, right, that we were able to take all of these mixed up jumbled puzzle pieces and make our life app, which is hope. And what an amazing month we're going to have talking about hope. And the reason why is because we believe that there was a bigger picture at the end of the puzzle. It's like when you're doing a puzzle and you get the puzzle box and you put it in front of you so you can see this is what I'm going for. I'm trying to get this picture. We did the same thing, but we could see the picture, which is what helped us to get it done, right? And listen, we can always put our hope in God because God always knows the big picture when it comes to anything in our lives. And we can trust God with our whole lives because he sees that entire picture. Well, guys, right now, here's what I want to do. I want you guys to stand up and worship with me to tell God how much we love him, how excited we are that he's our God and that he's in our lives. Are you ready? Let's go. When the night is darkest and I feel weary, I'm not alone, cause you are Oh, 
Great job worshiping, guys. That was awesome. Well, friends, as I said, I have another amazing true Bible story for us today. And in this story, we're going to see how Jesus helped a few friends overcome a big problem. You know, as we've talked about before, Jesus and his disciples traveled to different places. And as Jesus traveled, he taught people about God. Well, when they were near a town called Bethany, anytime they were there, they would stay with some friends that lived there called Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Now, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, they were siblings, which means they were brothers and sisters. They were all related. And in Bethany, where they lived, it was just a few miles outside of Jerusalem. Well, as we begin our story for today, Jesus and his disciples were leaving the city of Jerusalem, and they were in a hurry. You see, Jesus had been preaching and teaching about the kingdom of God, but there were some religious people, some leaders that we've talked about before, called the Pharisees, who were against Jesus. You see, the Pharisees, they did not believe that Jesus was the Son of God. And they were so angry that they even threatened to throw stones at him to kill him. So Jesus and his disciples left Jerusalem and crossed the Jordan River, leaving Judea. Well, while Jesus and his disciples were gone, Lazarus got really sick. Well, Mary and Martha were so worried about their brother, they tried their best to take care of him, but he was getting sicker and sicker. So they sent a message to Jesus to tell him that Lazarus was sick, and they knew Jesus could perform miracles, and they hoped that Jesus was going to heal their brother. Well, when Jesus heard their message, he said this, this sickness will not end in death. No, because it's for God's glory. God's son will receive glory because of it. Well, that sounds good, right? I mean, it sounded like Jesus was going to rush off to Lazarus and heal him. But that's not what happened. Instead of hurrying to Lazarus' side, Jesus stayed where he was for two more days. Then he told his disciples that it was time to go back to Jesus. Judea. Here's what he said in the book of John chapter 11. He said this, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep. He said, but I am going there to wake him up. Now the disciples were a bit confused by all this. Why should they risk going back toward Jerusalem when the Pharisees who had just tried to hurt them were there? But Jesus told them plainly. He said that Lazarus wasn't sleeping, that actually he had died. He said this in John chapter 11, verse 15, For your benefit, I'm glad I was not there. Now you will believe. But let's go to him. So Jesus and his disciples traveled back to Bethany. Well, by the time Jesus and his disciples had arrived, Lazarus had been inside the tomb for four days. People had come to give their comfort and to grieve with Mary and Martha about the death of their brother. And Martha heard that Jesus was coming, and she ran out to meet him. Martha must have been excited to Jesus to see him, but she was so sad that he hadn't arrived sooner. And Martha said to Jesus, Lord, I wish you had been here. Then my brother would not have died. But I know, even now, God will give you anything you ask for. Jesus then told Martha that Lazarus would rise again. Here's what he said. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Anyone who believes in me will live even if they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Then Martha ran to get Mary so she could see Jesus as well. And Mary fell down at Jesus' feet and said, Lord, I wish you'd have been here. Then my brother would not have died. But when Jesus saw Mary and the other people crying so much, it made him sad as well. Jesus asked, where had they put his friend Lazarus? And then Jesus cried, just like you and I would. Well, some of, his, some of the people wondered, why didn't Jesus save Lazarus when he had the chance? The situation that they were in must have seemed hopeless, but Jesus wasn't done. Jesus went to the tomb where the people had buried Lazarus and he told them to open the tomb and remove the stone. Mary tried to warn Jesus that Lazarus had been dead in there for four days and there probably would be a pretty bad smell. But Jesus said this, didn't I tell you that if you believe you will see God's glory? 
Well, the people listened, and they opened the tomb just as Jesus had said, and they heard Jesus pray this prayer. He said this, Father, I thank you for hearing me. I know that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here. I said it so they will believe that you sent me. Jesus called into the tomb, Lazarus, come out. And sure enough, Lazarus got up and walked out of the tomb. Lazarus had been dead, but now he was alive. He was still in the burial clothes that they had him wrapped in. So Jesus told the people, take those clothes off that he was buried in and let him go. Man, isn't that an incredible story of hope that Jesus is so powerful that he brought Lazarus back to life? Many people who had come to comfort Mary and Martha in this time, they also saw this incredible and powerful thing that Jesus had done. They were just weeping, and now they had a reason to celebrate, right? They believed that Jesus truly was the Son of God. And they said this, when we know that we believe that Jesus is the Son of God, we can get through anything. And that's exactly what you and I can do. We need to remember, when we go through tough times, it's important for us to remember that God is powerful, that He can give us hope. We can choose to trust God and believe that God can bring something good out of something bad. And our bottom line today, guys, is this, that what happens, remember how powerful God is. It doesn't matter whatever happens. God is that powerful. Guys, let's pray and ask God to help us to remember that no matter what happens, he's still powerful enough to make something good come out of something bad. Father, we thank you, God, for today and for this amazing true story of how Jesus was able to bring Lazarus back from the dead. That, God, this situation seemed hopeless, like there was no answer. But, God, because of your power, you were able to bring bad or bring good out of bad. We thank you for that, God, today. And we thank you, God, that we can remember that for our own lives. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you looking forward to seeing the mail today? <laughs> Oh, oh. Hey there! Uh, I'm MC Haggis, the world's greatest Scottish rapper, and this here is my beatboxing partner, Seamus McFamous. Uh, give him a sample, Seamus. Oh, uh, now in French. Oh, yeah. He's a bilingual beatboxer. Yeah. Uh, this month we're learning about hope. Believing that something good can come out of something bad. And uh, something bad happened for me and Seamus, right, Seamus? Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, every year in the local music scene, they hand out what's called the Sheep Awards. <laughs> Don't ask me why a music award is named after a gamey smelling creature who's easily panicked. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay, now I get it. All right. Anyway, uh, me and Seamus submitted a song to be considered for a Sheep Award this year on CD. I, I, I know, we're old school kind of artists, you know. Well, somehow the CD got melted in the mail. It was ruined. <laughs> Here's how it sounds new. Oh, Sounds like a moose with a hairball, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, me and Seamus were devastated, but, but, we held out hope, right? Hey. Oh, hey! Thank you, disembodied hand. What's this? Uh, oh, it's, it's from the Sheep Awards. It's from the committee. I, 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 I can't read it. You read it. You read it. <laughs> Come on, Seamus, you read it. Out loud, please. Hey, hey, hey. No, get hey. past all the yada yada stuff. Okay. Hey! What? Hey! Hey! Hey, we won! We won the Sheep Award for Song of the Year, Seamus! We did it! We did it! Oh, we, we believed that something good could come out of something bad, and it did. Oh, I think we should rap about it. Hey! Kick it! When things are looking pretty rough and the situation's looking sad, don't give up when it gets tough, because you can believe that something good can come out of something bad, and that's hope word! Seamus, woo! What style can we do now to follow that sound up? You know, use that sound again that we, we just heard. What can we do? Ah, whale rap. I love it. Kick it. <laughs> Hey guys.
guys, it is so important for us to remember that we can trust God no matter what. That God has the power to work good in our lives even when we're facing something difficult or challenging. God is more powerful than anything. And as we learned in our Bible story today, God is even more powerful than death. I mean, Lazarus had already been dead for four days, and it seemed like there was no hope for Mary and Martha, right? It didn't seem like anything could happen. They could only see a small piece of the puzzle. But Jesus, remember, Jesus saw the bigger picture. Jesus had a bigger plan, and he brought Lazarus back to life and showed everyone how powerful God is. And remember, that's our bottom line. Whatever happens, we need to remember how powerful our God is. So what does that actually mean for you and me? Well, it means this, that when something bad happens, there's always a way for God to make good come out of it. We may not see it right away or even understand how God is working, but we have to remember how powerful God can be. And we've seen God work in the past, and we've seen how he's done amazing things, and we have to believe that God can work out good solutions even in the toughest situations. Our memory verse for this month, guys, is something that Jesus said to his friends, the disciples, who we talk about all the time. He said this not before, not long before he had to go to the cross for our sins, but Jesus knew that when he went to the cross, his friends would need hope even in the darkest times. And here's what he said. In John chapter 16, verse 33, he said this, In this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. Man, isn't that great to know that we can be encouraged and have hope because we know how much God loves us? We know what God did for us, right? Because he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And we know how powerful God is, more powerful than anything we'll ever face in life. Man, what a great first week to kick off this month in April as we talk about Jesus and how he died on the cross, but he didn't stay dead. He rose again. I can't wait to see what we're going to talk about in the coming weeks. Make sure that you're with us. But until then, have a great week, and we'll see you next time here at 212 Kids.